China maintains its prominent position in the global beekeeping industry. Boasting over 10 million beehives and an annual honey production that exceeds 560,000 tons. This country annually exports nearly 50% of its honey production, along with 3.9 thousand tons of pollen, 4,000 tons of royal jelly, and 400 tons of propolis. China holds around 90% of the international market share. In China, two species of honey bees are prevalent, the indigenous Apis serrana, which has been present in this nation for more than 70 million years, and the European Apis mellifera, which are mostly Italian yellow or gray bees that were imported to China in 1896. In addition to common challenges faced by beekeepers worldwide, China has specific issues that threaten the future of beekeeping. To gain insight into these challenges, the creative team behind the documentary The Mystery of the Honey Bee Society conducted a series of meetings with prominent experts in China and representatives from various organizations pivotal to beekeeping. These meetings took place from October 20 to 28, 2023, in Beijing and Shandong province. Notable were the meetings held in the City of Bees, also known as the Multi-Story Beekeeping Experimental Association near Beijing and the Beekeeping Center of the Ecological Agriculture Organization, as well as at the Beekeeping Institute of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences, the President of the All-China Association for Bee Products Production, the Ministry of Agriculture of Shandong Province, the Provincial Beekeeping Association, and with scientists in the field of beekeeping in Jinan University, as well as specialists from the Regional Honey Quality Control Center. Furthermore, an agreement was reached to broadcast the film on China Educational Channels TV, organizing continuous screenings for one year for its vast viewership. The initial showings occurred on October 30, 31, and November 1, 2023. The broadcast reached not only the domestic Chinese audience but also millions of Chinese-speaking viewers in Canada, the United States, Europe, and Australia, with a total of 73,660,000 views, exceeding our expectations. Key outcomes of the meetings. Approximately one quarter of the honey, sold in China, does not involve bees in its production, as it is artificial or fake honey. Genuine honey producers face substantial losses due to this competition, as many turn to manufacture cheaper products using sugar water to secure minimal profits. Unfortunately, the widespread practice of feeding bees with sugar water results in stunted and underdeveloped bee populations, reducing their lifespan and work efficiency. The idea presented by Pen Wenzhen, the director of the Beekeeping Institute at the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences during the National Conference on Mature Honey Production held in Beijing on July 26, 2021, has unveiled fresh opportunities for the progress of this sector. The multi-queen bee colonies, featuring two to three queen bees, were also noteworthy. In a relatively short period, their bee population surpassed 60,000, making the colony more resilient in disease control. Chemical usage lacks effective regulation. Simultaneously, monoculture agriculture is experiencing a rapid surge in genetic engineering. Many crops that bees traditionally relied on for nectar collection have been genetically modified to boost food production, but these alterations have resulted in the crops no longer producing nectar. Consequently, areas conducive to beekeeping are dwindling. Urbanization, extensive pesticide use, and environmental degradation are additional factors negatively impacting beekeeping. The preservation of the genetic diversity of bees has evolved into a significant challenge. In China, a century ago, indigenous bee species constituted over 90% of the total bee population. Today, they make up only a modest 10 to 15%. Without the creation of reserves or dedicated beekeeping initiatives and the implementation of a specific legal framework, the survival of the Chinese Apis serrana is in jeopardy. Beekeeping is currently not an attractive industry for young people. Over the last decade, the average age of beekeepers in the country has risen by 13 years, increasing from 50 to 63 years. Insufficient attention is given to anticipated threats, including the impact of global warming. Canadian scientists have determined that bees experience stress and die at temperatures of 42 degrees Celsius. This is becoming a worldwide issue that will require significant efforts from major countries to resolve.
modern techniques are being incorporated into beekeeping efforts to attract younger generations. Particularly noteworthy is the utilization of smart hives, which come equipped with electronic communication devices and solar panels, enabling continuous monitoring of hive conditions. This includes factors such as humidity, temperature, population density, disease indicators, and more. This innovative approach is gaining increasing attention and interest within the beekeeping community. As living standards rise in China, the demand for high-quality bee products, particularly honey, royal jelly, and beeswax, is growing. This necessitates the evolution of beekeeping practices to meet these new requirements, especially in traditional medicine and apotherapy.